TGIF, thanks for joining us here at 5. 100 years old, Colonel Stephen DePeisler will officially hit the century mark on Sunday. The retired colonel served almost 40 years active duty in four wars and held every enlisted and officer rank without ever having to fire his gun. But after serving in the Air Force, he stayed busy all these years helping others here in our community. We'll head out live to a special birthday celebration in a moment. But first, on tonight's KSLA Salutes, Miranda Whittington shares his story and his secret to living such a long life. Okay. It's another day at the office for Colonel Steve DePeisler. Colonel DePeisler retired from the Air Force nearly 40 years ago, but you can still find him working every day on Barksdale Air Force Base at the Retiree Affairs Office. I enjoy most just coming to work. Believe it or not, come Saturday and Sunday, I look forward to coming to work on Monday. And you wouldn't believe just how busy his schedule is. I have been the director since 1988. I'm a motivational speaker. I have two newspapers that I publish. The other part of my job is helping widows. This is my widow's handbook. But in just a few days, Colonel DePeisler will be celebrating another huge milestone, his 100th birthday. There's a hundred and some slides covers my whole life. On Friday, July 19th, over 300 people from across the country will be in Bossier City Civic Center to celebrate Colonel DePeisler's birthday. The people that are coming normally, uh, either I have worked with them or I have assisted them, they have volunteered with me. But the Chicago Natives military service began back in the 1940s. Colonel DePeisler served in World War II and started out making 75 cents a day. Throughout his 38 years, he served as a logistics officer not only in World War II, but also the Korean, French, Indochina, and Vietnam Wars. People say, well, uh, did you ever fire a gun in all those wars? Nope, never fired a gun. But the colonel says he definitely made sure he had one on him. Geneva Convention says you are not entitled to have a weapon, but I can assure you that after the first time I was shot at, I had a, carried a weapon when I was in Vietnam, Hanoi, Cat V, Dosan, all those places. Colonel DePeisler has won numerous awards, has four Legion of Merit medals, and has even been featured on a cereal box or two. Wow. But with so much more to do and plenty of people to help, he shares that his secret to living a long life includes staying away from drugs, eating a good meal, and going to work every day. You've got to take care of yourself, take care of your health. That's it. Miranda Whittington, KSLA News 12. Colonel DePeisler also played a huge role in getting the Northwest Louisiana War Veterans Home up and running in Bossier City. He put $50,000 of his own money into a trust fund for that home. His birthday party uh, getting underway in about a half hour inside the Bossier Civic Center. There is a long list of speakers, including Governor John Bell Edwards and Senators Bill Cassidy and John Kennedy. KSLA News 12's Jeff Farrell live inside said birthday party inside the Civic Center. Jeff, what a celebration for one of our area's greatest veterans. You bet. People are going to be arriving very shortly to really say congratulations to a man that has spent the last 40 years of his life not getting paid a penny for volunteering. The last 30 decades, 30 years, have been in charge of that retiree program at Barksdale. I've got to show you something right behind me. All these tables right here, there's 39 of them. Now, the number of people expected for this event was expected to be in the 200s, then mid 200s, and now they're expecting a little over 300 people. And it's all because of a man who's really brought a lot of people together in this community. Talking about that, one of the volunteers is Fred Acosta. So thank you for joining us. If, if someone's watching at home, put this in perspective of what this is all about. This is about uh, a lot of people getting together and enjoying the Colonel's company and everything he's done for him, for everybody. Uh, he helped so many widows in the last 30 some odd years. It's incredible. Yeah, uh, invaluable. You know, a lot of times it's it's hard to really uh, translate just how special a guy is. Um, just, you know, uh, just explaining to somebody, but he really has made a difference. Yes, sir, he has. Uh, last week he had three widows back to back to back. So he had them 30 minutes apart. And what he does, he gives them, he goes through his own checklist and he helps all the widows. At the end of that briefing, he gives them a necklace that he bought personally only for the widows because he wants to make them feel good about themselves. He wants to smile when they leave his office, and they do. Wow. Well, Fred, thank you very much, Fred Acosta, the volunteer. I should point out, by the way, if it hasn't been stated already, this is a man, he was born in 1919, obviously, because it's 100 years, but he has served in four different wars, along with other conflict as well. But 
He has seen it all. In fact, some people think he may be the only person ever to serve in four different wars. And out of all of that, he never had to fire his weapon. He says it's more dangerous after he got out of the service, when he retired in 78, than during his service, because he was an engineer. He was under, uh, behind the scenes, if you will. He was flying over the beaches of D-Day. He was there for so many things, to Saigon, to all the other conflicts that this country has done. So it's a way to say thank you to a man who has really helped a lot of people. Reporting live here in Bojer City, Jeff Farrell, KSLA News 12.